Taco Tuesday, and here to show us a delicious new twist on the staple is our good friend Susan Feniger is in the Hi. house, everybody. Love being in the kitchen Hi. with Susan. I'm not sure how much she loves being in the kitchen with oh, me. Oh, I just love it. All right. Good I'm not answer. sure, Deb. Good answer. Well, not what well, she was saying off yeah. camera. Debbie, yes. Orly, Shirley, oh, yes. dig in. We are Taco here. Tuesday, everybody. Ooh, Taco now, Tuesday. Susan, before we start making this, I yeah. want to ask you, Vampiro-style tacos. What, is, yeah. what are we talking about here? Well, you know, you go... What, you know when you go to Tijuana? Yeah. And you go. <laughs> <laughs> and you eat, as you eat all over the streets. Yeah, okay. And there's this like fabulous griddled cheese that yes. they have you do. And then you just throw a tortilla on it. Okay. And you top it with that. But that just means it's got this great griddled cheese that gets mm. its smokiness. Mm. It's oh. so fabulous. So, okay. marinade first. Yes. Cumin. We're going to toast the cumin seeds. Okay, get here, right here. Do you know why? I Because it makes them crunchier, because it makes them toasted. <laughs> it, because it brings the oil out in mm. the cumin. Oh. So you get all this flavor going into the marinade. Okay, good. Here we go. Okay, so pour it in there. Okay, Ready? You got it. Yep. Do you smell that? I wish we had mm. smell a vision. Oh, smell that? It really does smell. So, nice. so it's a fair amount of that goes in there. Okay, okay very good. Then and what else goes in here with these guys? We're gonna add a bunch of, you know, just the cilantro, and it can be the stems too. Like, let's just do this. Okay. It's very, I, very particular. Okay. Okay. Well, that was that looked yeah. like a lot of fun. And, and then I'm glad. garlic, whole okay. garlic in there. All of them. All of them. Yeah. Mm. And then okay. let me, you know, the hottest part of the chili, yeah. right, is the seeds. So yeah. let's see if Deb. Deb, oh, can you no. taste these? Susan no, knows that, that I'm not hot. tough enough for this. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to go to uh, the, I mean, uh, the oh, tough I don't know. No, number. take a little bite just in case. Oh, if it's really. A little bite, just a little bite. Wow. Is it spicy? No. Don't eat the seed. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, no, don't get it. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, good. Yeah, you can. You didn't eat the seed, did you? No, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Right. Okay, so oh, throw okay. some of this. All right, so we've got Susan cumin. Okay, this. good. Yes. We're going to add a little bit of lime juice. Ready? Beautiful. Whoop, love we'll lime add that juice. much. Okay. How about some olive oil? Pour a little olive oil in there. Very How technical. How much of this? Well, a little. Well, what does that mean? That's good. Okay. That's good. Salt. Beautiful. A little bit of pepper because it's not spicy enough. And you can add a little water if you think it okay. needs well, a little Okay, well, let's start this up Try and you that. tell me if you think it All needs right. it, okay? Yeah. Puree really well. Maybe it does need a little bit of water. Here Just a tiny bit of water. And I love, this marinade is so fabulous on chicken, on fish, it's on delicious. portobello mushrooms. Yeah. We're we going to put it on skirt steak for carne asada. Here we go. You put puree it real. It doesn't even matter that it's exact. Okay. And, you know, we'll add a little more of this in there. Will we? Yeah. When you say we, you we really kind of mean you. We meaning you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at right, He's such a good yeah, cook. Right, it's amazing. Right, right. Right? Listen, I have made uh, many a protein shake in my day, so yeah. I'm familiar with the blender. There you yeah. go. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. So all we've right, got some so marinade. Now you've got that, right? That Beautiful. marinade, you pour it all over. We're using skirt going steak. In. It's going but in, like right? I said, it could be fit. Yep, pour it okay, all in. Good. Look at that. Would we Look be and see how thick it is. anything in flavor or texture if we use cumin powder as opposed to mm. whole cumin seed? Well, you could, I would still toast it a little Even bit. Even the powder. Yeah, you okay. don't want to burn it, yeah. but you want to toast it to bring the flavor. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. good to know. So then, you know. That. You want me to do that? Yeah, do that. I can you? do that part. What? Just mix it up like yeah. that. It gives it a Come lot on. of He's a fast learner. Yeah. yeah, he really is. There we go. This is my favorite stuff to do in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay, now we're okay. going to slice this up so while you're so going to. So look, well, I here earlier today. Yep. What happened is Deb was in there working really hard, mm -hmm. yeah. and she marinate, made the marinade and grilled it. Why were you looking and at me when you said did. Deb was working uh -huh. really hard? Because well, I, I didn't know where you were. You were. I don't know where you were. We were calling you. We were so, checking your trailer. <laughs> Let this marinate overnight, okay. okay? Or even, honestly, if you marinate a couple hours, it's no big deal. Okay. So we marinate it, throw it on the grill. Yep. And, like, if you're doing Labor Day or any holiday, yeah. you could have leftover, and then the next day... Make these tacos. Did you make this yesterday? Uh, I mean, Labor Day? You did not. And I did not. Uh -huh. I would have. Uh -huh. Nor did I. July 4th. <laughs> okay. What about that? Well, Next I, got year. I got some time. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's build it. So now we're going to, this so is it. Now here, okay, so let's say you had leftover corn. Yeah. You could take that corn, take it off the cob, which is what I did here. Okay. Now I've got three Mexican cheeses. I want you to do two little piles on there. Okay, here we go. Right directly on the grill. Okay, like one here? Is, like yeah, when you say little, it out is that good? A little more. A little bit more? Because we're going to put a tortilla on top. Okay, good. And then another oh, one here? Yeah, not too close. Well, oh. A little more, okay? okay? So it goes on there. Now, Now there we go. 
Now, what we're going to do is put a tortilla right on top okay, of it. Yeah, like that. just like that. Can you see this, everybody? See oh, what I'm doing here? I always get yes. worried when the cheese gets on the griddle because I'm, I'm worried that it's going to burn. Well, no, it just gets, and I'm going to try a little bit back here, too, because I just have a feeling. I don't know about Cameron and his ability here. But <laughs> Susan, I'm, I'm literally standing right here. I can totally oh, hear oh, you. Oh, yes. oh, oh, okay, okay. So, <laughs> you let it get night. Yeah, exactly. Okay, good. Okay? Watch this, everybody. Now, Susan Now, Finnegar. if it's a good non-stick... Or good seasoned cast iron pan. Look, yes. yeah, no, no, flip it over, flip it over. Yes. Well done, let it get a little more gold. Let it get a little more gold. Okay, all right. Well, okay, I was, I thought I was going to surprise you. Okay, Apparently, try this one. Try that one. Look. Okay, very good. Here, wait, wait, here. Oh. oh. It's the simple things that make us so happy no. in the yeah, kitchen. Okay, there good. you go, Susan. Well, like Look how good that looks. So, but that's what you're talking about. Well, that kind of crunchy yeah, cheese, the grilled cheese like, aspect of it. Okay, now, now we've got that, kitchen. right? Yes. Look how easy that is. Yeah. I do. Now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of the skirt steak. Okay, slice it up. And in the meantime, how about that arbol salsa? We made a little salsa before wow. that. While Debbie was doing everything else, I was you making, making salsa. You were making the salsa? Remind me how I made it. Okay, so when you made it, remember... What we did is take tomatoes yeah. and tomatillos. Ooh. I peel that Look up. That. It's in the gooseberry oh, family. Yeah. So beautiful. Okay. Under the broiler till it gets black like that. Okay. Then all I did is take tomatoes, cilantro, this. If you want more chili, throw it all in the blender. Blend it up, everybody. And you wow. get this. And I took a little bit of these arbol chilies, which yep. are spicier. Yes. Yeah. And we have our arbol salsa. I was chewing You don't even have to too. measure it. All right, okay, good. Susan, while you guys build that build that up. taco. There yep. you go. Could you please tell us about your restaurant that you are about to open in Santa Monica that we have all been waiting so patiently for? I'm so excited. So We're right. opening, you know, soon. Very End soon. of summer. It's called Socolo. Good job there. Ooh, thank you very Called much. Called Soglo Breakfast, Lunch, and Dinner. Beautiful. Seven days a week. Wow. Breakfast, Lunch, and Dinner, Mexican at 20th in Santa Monica. We're going nice. back to our old neighborhood. Perfect That's spot. awesome. We We're very excited. Wait. Cameron will be making tacos. Cameron? Yes. That's way too much sauce. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Listen, it's Taco Not Tuesday. So I got a little bit excited. Pickled onion on top. A little pickled onion on top. Did I put too much stuff on there? All right, I'm going to work on this. Did you? Yeah, really? Oh, my listen. God. Oh, boy. Listen, welcome that to the is. kitchen with Cameron. <laughs> Cheers, Every everybody. Every Tuesday here. at Socolo right. in Santa Monica. Socolo, Cameron. Socolo. Cameron will be there. Thank you so yeah. much, We're Susan. excited. We love yeah. you. We are so excited. Oh, is it As good? Well. You can find the full recipe for this, the way that Cameron makes it, and also the way that Susan <laughs> makes it at HallmarkChannel.com. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Thank you.